We have a lot of new treatment options in plaque psoriasis. Um, we have some new oral agents. We have one specifically called a premolast. It is a phosphodiesterase 4 inhibitor. So it is a small molecule and it works with the immune system to help to increase the cytoky cytokines that are protective against psoriasis, such as interleukin-4. It also helps to decrease some of the cytokines that we know play a role in exacerbating psoriasis, such as interleukin-17, interleukin-12, and interleukin-23. The appealing part of a premolas for patients is that it is, unlike many of our other therapies, it's not an injection, it's an oral agent. Treatments for psoriasis have come a long way for patients. So it used to be that if you had psoriasis, you would potentially be in a dermatologist's office three to five days a week trying to get tar treatments, light treatments. Uh, there were times patients had to take disability leave just to get treated or be admitted to the hospital. We've always looked to add new agents so that patients could stay out of the office for treatment. Uh, typically, we've used drugs like acetretin, which is a, a retinoid, a vitamin A derivative, methotrexate, in low doses, as well as drugs like cyclosporin. However, these drugs have toxicities associated with them, and they're really only uh, available for use in a limited patient population who lacks a lot of comorbidities, such as liver disease. Really now, what we have are drugs that are very convenient for patients. So they're either pills that they can take once or twice a day, or injections that can be given subcutaneously at home. With any drug, we do have safety concerns, and really when we look at new psoriasis therapies, one of the first things that we look at is not just how well does it work, but also how safe is it for our patients. The biologic drugs are really what has been the biggest breakthrough in the treatment of psoriasis. So this started with TNF-alpha antagonists such as adalimumab, etanercept, and infliximab, and really they have evolved uh, from there. And uh, so we have drugs including ustekinumab, which targets IL-12 and 23, and then now we have two drugs that targets uh, that target IL-17. A, uh, these include ixacizumab and secukinumab. Uh, these drugs have all been um, very effective in the treatment of psoriasis, so a lot of our research is focused over time on looking at safety. And uh, with over 10 years of experience with many of these drugs now, we found that the safety profile is actually quite good. The biggest risk that we see is an increased risk of infection. So we need to be vigilant in following patients for this. We monitor everybody for latent tuberculosis, and we make sure that our patients are well counseled about this risk.